Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here. Today we're making a quick video showing you a fake iPhone 6 and a real iPhone 6. Now those, this is for those that you know are buying online and they're looking at the pictures and if the pictures look iffy, you should just basically stay away from any listings like that. But it's still good to see the fake one versus the real one and especially just to see how crazy close the design was to the actual thing that Apple announced months after these clones were available. So let's go ahead and uh, open these up. So first off, you can see that the box on the fake one has an actual phone. I mean, Apple really changed the box this time around. So you can see that you know the ones without the actual phone are the real Apple ones, but I'm sure that clone or the people that clone these will be able to quickly copy the boxes that Apple has made. But here we have on the right, the real box and on the left, the fake box. And you can probably tell that this is the fake iPhone in the real box and that this is the real iPhone in the fake box. But I mean, in terms of design and where the lines are and where the button placement is, it's almost the exact same thing. Look at this. I mean, they're, they're right on, which is just amazing to see how they could get their hands on these specs or designs and uh, finish everything so quickly. And then the top here. But yeah, I mean, even the lines, as you can see there, are on the exact same place. The only thing is that the fake one is a little bit thicker. And uh, of course, the lines are darker and the color is darker. But I don't, it doesn't find me surprising that this is a darker color because I thought the iPhone 6 was going to be a darker color as well. I didn't think it was going to be this light. It's uh, almost looking like the silver color, which is, you know, not a bad thing, but it's also not a great thing because, I mean, it went from the black color that we had a few years back to now just a color that's almost so close to the silver that's a bit too close. I mean, I would have preferred it a bit darker, almost like this color right here, but, you know, this one looks nice too and uh, I guess there's a reason for why they did that now uh, one of the main things you should look out for in the pictures is the thick lines here if they seem too thick or too dark to what you've seen in videos or other pictures then it's definitely fake the Apple logo on the back you can see that this one you can tell there's the cutout there at an angle you can see the black cut and these and the real ones you cannot it's just flush with the device it's a little bit you can kind of feel that it's a little bit uh, pushed down, but not enough. I mean, you can feel the cut, but not enough to uh, for it to be like this, which is, you know, you can definitely tell even by looking at it. Now you can also see that the Apple logos on the back, the one on the right is a little bit smoked into the space gray color, and the one on the left is completely clear like a mirror or like the Apple logo on the white iPhone 6 is, I'll show you here in a second. Uh, let me get the iPhone 6 in white. So you can just see the Apple logos. See how it's clear? And even that, it's not as clear as how the Apple logo is on the right one. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's just crazy how close they got. You can obviously tell the dual LED flash. It looks completely fake. This one is perfectly circled as it should be. Um, and then the camera is not out on the one on the left. And uh, that's one of the main things to look out for because a lot of people didn't know that the camera was gonna be, you know, out like that, like on the iPod Touch, because we thought by now, Apple might have figured that out. But there's just not the technology to be able to make it flush with the device, I guess, right now, or it just won't be cheap enough. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Of course, in the boxes, you get the accessories that you also get with the real iPhone. Of course, they're all cheap and they feel like plastic. But again, there's a lot of people that are first time buyers and uh, <clears throat> these scams happen all over the world. Maybe not as much in the US, but in other countries like in uh, Asia and South America or continents like in Asia or South America. This happens a lot and they even sell them on the streets and it's people that have heard about them They've never seen them, they've never been able to hold them, um, and they'll buy them thinking that's what they are. I did receive a fake clone though. I thought I was gonna be receiving something like the Goo Phone, 
or even the goof one because that's what the listing said. And uh, I wasn't really expecting to be receiving anything good. And I was also expecting to actually not receive it at all. So um, at least I received it. You got to just be careful when you're buying from places like eBay, Alibaba, AliExpress, DHgate, any of those places that can sell internationally. You got to watch out where the seller is from, uh, how many points they got in feedback. You got to make sure the feedback is real. And, uh, you know, always just make a little, you know, web search and search the seller's name in case anyone else has been scammed. But normally people that scam, they'll scam about 100 people at a time. Then they'll close their account and then open up a new one before, you know, anyone can crack down on them. And of course, if you do receive something that you think looks fake and you're not 100% sure, you can always connect it to iTunes and then you'll know then. Or you can even go into general um, about and then just look on there to uh, see your serial number. And then you can enter that into the Apple Care website or to check your warranty. And if Apple doesn't recognize it as a real serial number, then uh, you know you know it's fake. And it could be a, ser a serial number that's real from another phone, but you know, you'll know you be able to mix and match and see if this is actually connected to that phone. But yeah, I mean, it's incredibly amazing how close the design got but that's it for this video guys if you have any questions again feel free to message me i know this video is a little bit you know from certain perspectives it it just varies you'll be like i mean i'm not i would never fall for this and i know some of you won't but uh you never know it can happen to anybody if uh if you just get into the wrong situation at the wrong time or the wrong listing at the wrong time but yeah that's it for this video guys I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hey guys, before ending the video, I wanted to thank you for watching this video. Now, if you wanna check out more coverage on the iPhone 6, there's a lot more on my channel. I have unboxings of all the colors and overviews and a bunch of other comparisons. Now, if you really enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel because it really helps and you can stay tuned for future videos that I make. Now, if you have any questions, you can always contact me on the website or even comment on the video that you watch. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And even if I don't know something, I will research it and try to get back to you as soon as I can. So again, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.